What's up, Fox Trotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Maybe consider subscribing before you leave today. If you're returning, hello. It's nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person who finally got their vegetable garden planted only to discover that there was quite a slug population in your yard. And boy, are they hungry. You look great. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day or as good as you can considering the circumstances. I am so excited to bring to you an r slash n to MLM trash video. In some regards, my life has kind of evened out. Tippy is in recovery. Midterms are behind me, but everything else is still totally buck wild. You guys know you're all living in it too. It's nuts. Anyways, let's go ahead and enjoy this together. There's a company out there that is selling magic beads that apparently help with weight loss and I just can't even with that. So let's go ahead and just laugh and cringe together guy who got kicked out of my high school for assaulting a lunch lady shells out WFG now. WFG is World Financial Group. Well, if you want, you can hop on tomorrow and I can show you that we are an extremely credible company and what we do is only help families succeed. Matthew, it's a pyramid scheme. Both of my parents are lawyers. I'm well aware of what a pyramid scheme is. Do you really think that low of me that I would join something like that? Yes. <laughs> this young living hun supposed personal stash. Tell me again about not holding inventory. Does anyone want to take a stab at the cost of all this or how long it would take to actually use this much? Um, wow. That's a lot of product. A lot of product. Can anybody ballpark how much you think that is? I'm going to go that's easily in the thousands. I'm going to go like a couple thousand, like maybe 2,000 bucks. And I know that maybe sounds ridiculous, but these products are so expensive. Those little bottles of oils that you see before you, those teeny tiny ones, those range anywhere from like 30 bucks all the way up to like 80 plus dollars, just depending on whatever specialty blend you're buying. And it's really sad because as a lot of you may know, a lot of these huns end up having to buy inventory and purchase lots of it and keep it because they need to keep their like uh, keep their sales up so that they keep getting kind of, you know, um, good feedback from their upline so that they get a lot of uh, kudos from their upline. This is how they qualify for things like cruises or, you know, how they keep their diamond elite statuses or whatever it is. They have to keep buying a certain amount of product or at least they have to appear like they have a certain amount of product that's constantly being bought under them. And, and unfortunately, in order to meet a lot of these quotas, a lot of these huns are forced to buy large quantities of the product that they claim is for their own personal stash. But I'm looking at this right here and I know this is no personal stash. No, no, no. This is sad. This is money lost that will never be recuperated and it's just really pathetic I just I feel I feel really terrible for this person especially if this hun's showing this off actually thinking that people believe that this is just her standard stuff she keeps on hand I really doubt that dude I doubt it oh here we go the infamous magical beads <laughs> absolutely ridiculous my beads came today. This combination of beads is called the Weight Loss Trio. I ordered them from a fellow presenter. She has seen amazing results with this trio. These beads will help with my energy, metabolism, release stress, digestion system, promotes mood healing. I'm super excited and I love them already. <sighs> you guys... <laughs> And I did look up this website. It's like Bombshell Beads, I think. Yeah, Bombshell Beads, something like that. Um, and I did go to the website and I kind of just casually scouted the price point for these beads, uh, these little bracelets. And for a small, like tiny little black beaded onyx bracelet that was way smaller than this one, it was $40. And that was the lowest price I could find starting for bracelets. After that, they went all the way up to well over $100. And I am not making it up. You can go check it out if you want to. Um, but you don't have to because let's be real. Um, I wasted my time doing that so that you don't have to. You know what I mean? But this is just... <laughs> <laughs> what new levels have we reached when we are convincing people that magical beads will somehow help align everything to where you will lose weight by wearing a bracelet? <laughs> I can't even. It's so stupid. I'm not 
trying to sell this to you. I'm going all the way to the top with or without you. I'm simply inviting you to come with me. <laughs> oh my God. So condescending. This is probably why you have no real friends. I'm sorry. No, that's probably not true. It might be true. Um, anyway, <laughs> I just, this is incredibly condescending. You start off the beginning of this by essentially insulting everybody by saying that I'm going all the way to the top with or without you, all you big dum-dums, all you dummy dum-dums. Um, but then at the very end, they're like, but you know, you could come with me <laughs> if you want to. I know I just like insulted you and made it seem like I don't need you and I'm going on without you anyway, but like, you wanna go with me? <laughs> oh, uh, no. In times of uncertainty, having an extra stream of income can calm some of that anxiety, especially a business you can work anywhere with Wi-Fi. Uh. In March, we added 50,000 new customers and 12,000 new market partners. In April, we jumped to 125,000 customers and 50,000 new market partners. That's a 300% increase. Someone gets paid for all those orders. Why shouldn't it be you? Uh, the captions actually pointed out a really good point. Okay, so um, you're telling me that initially in March when they had 50,000 50, new customers and 12,000 new market partners, that means four customers per seller, okay? So four customers per uh, representative, all right? And then in April, we jumped to 125,000 uh, customers and 50,000 new market partners. Uh, that means that they went down to, from four customers per representative, down to 2.5, roughly, per representative, which means the representatives officially are making less money. So even though there's an increase, essentially, in the amount of people, of bodies going through the company, it doesn't actually mean that people are making more money. Does that make sense? This is like such false advertising. They're just using these bogus numbers and stats to trick you into thinking that that means a lot, but it doesn't. It doesn't. What they're saying is actually bad. What they're saying is that they went from, <laughs> each representative went from making a certain amount of money and then now they're making half of what they made before, which probably means that they're making practically nothing because they were probably making practically nothing beforehand. But then again, what do I know? Maybe I'm just being assumptive and being a little judgy. It's possible. Anyway, I'm gonna take a sip of this tea here and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Typical, I managed to cut off what MLM this was. I think it was something like Primerica or something. I'm sorry, I found out what this business is about and I'm not interested. Have you heard of it before? Yes, I'm not interested in scamming. If you were legit, you wouldn't say, here's a job if you want it. I would have to apply and be hired. My parents said that they're surprised you guys are still even open. Here's the thing, this isn't a job, it's a business. And it surprises me that people think it's a scam when we have to get fingerprinted by the state and pass a federal background check. <laughs> it's really hard to explain to someone who's never gonna really listen how little all that means. <laughs> I mean, I think the thing that bothers me the most out of all that, besides trying to like flex by saying since they get fingerprinted and have to do a federal background check that that means they're 100% legitimate. It doesn't, but like, okay. But I think the part that bothers me the most is when they say, this isn't a job, it's a business. And it's like, well, you know what? You know what people want right now? They want jobs. So why don't you take that pretentious attitude and just march yourself right on out of here and go uh, climb your pyramid by yourself. And then in a year when you're a CEO, you can come back and tell us all how stupid we are. It'll be great. Who has a 401k? <sighs> so weird, right away, instant red flags. If yes, DM me now because the stock market is not doing good and anyone who has a 401k is losing money. Guarantee. <laughs> but it's okay because I can help stop the financial bleeding. I mean, the fact that you spelled two words wrong in the same sentence, in the sentence where you're telling me you can guarantee I won't lose money, and I... <laughs> Who is interested in generational wealth? Who is interested in becoming more financially literate? Who wants to know how you can pass on wealth to your kids? Those are such generic statements. Who's interested in becoming more financially literate? Wow, cool word choices, dude. Incredible. Also, who wants to know how you can pass on wealth to your kids? That's just, ooh, that's such bait. You're just <laughs> seriously just trying to bait these people. Oh God, I can't stand it. 
Oh no! Oh my god. I know a lot of you out there, there's a lot of people that really like that, that thick square shaped nail and on a lot of people it looks fantastic and I don't think twice about it, but on me personally, that look is so bad. I have, I have little hands and little stubby fingers and if I were to do that, <laughs> I wouldn't be helping myself, let's put it that way. Okay, let's go ahead and just talk about the elephant in the room, all right, which is those cuticles. All right. And I'm not trying to shame anyone's cuticles because mine are garbage right now, but you know what I'm not doing? I'm not taking pictures of it and posting it online in an attempt to sell my MLM product. Does that make sense? Like I've been gardening for days now. I've been digging in the dirt. Like these things are a mess. They're looking a little stressed out, but I'm not posting something where I'm trying to sell my product to a bunch of people. So like, it's okay, me and my cruddy cuticles can sit over here like this, you know, but I just, if like one were trying to sell something, this is just not it. Oh, I feel so bad because I feel like, um, you know, a lot of people that maybe had uh, fake nails, like, like dip nails, which I had to research. I did not know what those were before I did this video, but for a lot of people who had fake nails on, it must've been really stressful when that, when all of the uh, salons shut down, because I don't know the first thing about how to remove acrylic or any of those like more permanent nail things. I don't know what to do with that. I wouldn't know how to fix it. So I imagine a lot of people out there are probably getting a little desperate with trying to figure out what to do. And so I can imagine color street stickers might seem like a good idea, but all in all, <laughs> this just isn't it. Oh no, another hun using the guise of a friendship app to find a downline. <laughs> I hate it. I joined Bumble BFF to fight quarantine loneliness. About 70% of the messages I get are from MLMs and it's super disappointing. That is disappointing, I'm so sorry. Haha, <laughs> love it. I was wondering if you'd be interested in working with me. I have my own business and looking for people that want to make their goals a reality. And since you're in that in-between step, this would be a great opportunity. You used the wrong your. I actually just recently started my own company, so I've been super busy with getting that off the ground. Thank you, though. That was a very polite and concise answer, but I'm so sorry. How disheartening would that be to be on one of these apps looking for friendship, especially right now, considering what everyone's going through. And then instead of people trying to be your friend, they're trying to sell you something or, or get you to be in their downline. That just, that has to be crossing some sort of policy within the app. Something is like crossing a boundary. I'm convinced that can't be right. But apparently if there are so many of them, then maybe it is legal. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't go against the policy. Either way, it's really disappointing. I'm really sorry, Anna Alabama. You, you don't deserve that. And I hope you're doing okay. Ooh, Pharmacy. I do believe that is a makeup MLM. I need to do a little more research into that one because I know very little about it, but I do love me a good beauty MLM. Well, I, I love trashing beauty MLMs. Let me, let me at least state it correctly. 1999 Beauty Influencer Enrollment. Oh my God, they're calling themselves beauty influencers now. <laughs> is that how it works? I don't think that's how it works. Okay, all right, sure. For 20 bucks, I'll be a beauty influencer. <laughs> yeah, okie dokie. No fees are required in, oh, no fees or required inventory. Your business, your way. You know what's funny about saying that no fees or required inventory? They say no required inventory, but that also means that if you don't have inventory, you have nothing to sell. So you're not required to keep inventory, but if you want to make whatever pathetic pittance of money you're gonna make, you better have an inventory. Otherwise, what are you gonna sell? It's just, <laughs> It's just such false advertising. Sure, your business, your way. Okay, Burger King. Some quarantine fun, just for blanks and gigs. <laughs> How do you pronounce Monet? I know it's technically pronounced Monate. See, I didn't actually know that. I know a few of you had told me that before, but I don't know. I feel like I hear it pronounced so many different ways. <laughs> but half of their MPs don't even know the right name of the company. See, it's so true. I feel like they all pronounce it differently. Full disclosure, I felt like a complete idiot typing these choices out. You guys, if you could do me a favor and head over to Reddit and if you guys would, uh, would actually fill, um, vote in this poll, just because it's fun, why not? Go ahead and vote, see what happens. But as you can see, I went ahead and took a screenshot of my vote and at the time when I voted, the winner currently was Monat. 
Uh, I voted for Monet, that's how I tend to pronounce it, at least in my videos. Uh, but overall, it looks like Monat is the choice. Um, I had no idea it was Ma-nate. It just doesn't flow. It just doesn't flow. <laughs> what a stupid <laughs> name. I couldn't find much info on this one here. Think I'm dealing with a hun, though. Well, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, you know how that ends. Girl, you'd absolutely kill it at this company. You have so much potential. Thank you for thinking of me. I'll look into what you do. I'd love to be a part of another project like that. I'm with a company called Pomifera. 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 We're going to go with Pomifera. <laughs> we are a ground floor company that is taking off. So much opportunity here, and I think you'd be an amazing fit. Uh, I'm curious about this Pomifera company. I'm going to do a little bit of research. Okay, so in my super quick little googly deep dive into Pomifera, I found this article here by Christina Piccoli, and uh, spoiler alert, she is not into MLMs, definitely an anti-MLMer, so don't worry. But she talks about the company here and describes it in some more detail. I'm not going to read everything at all. I, I definitely will try to link this in the description bar below, and you should go read it if you have the time. Um, but let's go ahead and just read this a little bit here. A new multi-level marketing company is in town, and you may have been hearing a little about it. And now you may be wondering, is Pomifera a pyramid scheme? Is it a scam? Is it worth to join? I'm going to take you through this company and show you who started it and give you all the details about it. Ooh, Christina, my girl. Pomifera is a brand new, at the time of this writing, skincare MLM that just opened its doors on February 1st, 2020. Pomifera was started by co-founder and chief scientific officer, <laughs> wow, Todd Johnson, and co-founder, and get this title folks, chief visionary officer, Lindsay Colombe, or Columbi, Columb, whatever, Columb. According to Pomifera's about page, Todd discovered pomifera oil, which is an oil that's extracted from an osage orange. If you don't have osage oranges where you live, they look like small green zombie brains. They usually fall off trees in the fall and make a mess on the roads. But squirrels and deers like to eat them, and apparently they're good for our skin. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to kind of leave it there for the research, but I will tell you what I did find that was very, very interesting was that Lindsay Colombe, or I'm just, Lindsay Colomb, we're going to just call that, Lindsay Colomb, she actually used to work for Unique and actually made it quite high in Unique. I think she was like a black status presenter. And then she left Unique for Lime Life by Alcone, made it kind of high up in there as well. And then she left that to start Promifera. So... That should tell you a lot about uh, this company and if it is a scam or not. That should pretty much just sum it up. Like she clearly just took tidbits from those MLMs and brought it into this one to create her own. Very cool. But um, I, I definitely think I want to do some more research on this. This is kind of one that I'm I'm interested in possibly doing some more research. Yeah, I don't know. Pomifera. Anything anything that's like a new beauty MLM, especially if it's related to Lime Life and Unique. I'm just especially unique. <laughs> I am very excited about that. <laughs> and now it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the video, wholesome moment of the day. Let's go see who you guys sent over. The animals featured in today's video were sent over by Just a Random Bookworm. Thank you so much, Just a Random Bookworm. And I'm going to go ahead and read the email sent along with the photos. Hello, Den Mother. Hi, new subscriber here. Welcome. I love your videos. Oh, thank you. And since I have four fur babies, I wanted to send you some pics. Perfect. I love these. I labeled at least one pick of each because they're kind of hard to tell apart. Lyra is the darker tabby and also my oldest cat. I don't know if this name has anything to do with it at all, but I'm my first thought when I hear the name Lyra goes to Lyra Balakwa from Golden Compass. I love those books, or um, uh, that book in particular, but also the other two in the series was it Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass. Oh, those were cool to read when I was younger. Anyways, don't know if that name has anything to do with it, uh, but I like the name regardless. I apologize for the tangent. I've had her for years and she is the sweetest cat ever. She's very friendly and social. I've gotten some lost cat calls because she just goes up to strangers and meows for attention. It's pretty cute. Belle is one of the Siamese tabby mixes. She's my youngest cat and I've had her about four years. She, if possible, is even friendlier than Lyra. She often snuggles with her and it's kind of funny seeing her and Lyra in the same cat bed. Safira, ooh, these names are awesome. Safira is the other Siamese tabby mix. I've had her about five years and she's very sweet as well. She doesn't like cuddling as much, but begs to be petted a lot. 
Ekaterina, or Ekat, am I pronouncing that correctly for short, is the lighter tabby. She's Safira's sister and super soft and occasionally friendly. She's pretty skittish around strangers, but she's super sweet when she gets to know you. Lyra was adopted from a shelter, and I fostered Ekat and Safira before deciding to adopt them. I took care of both of them from when they were about seven weeks. Their mom was an alley cat, and a charity that I helped foster for found them. I had the same thing happen with Belle about a year later. They're all amazingly sweet, and I love all of them. Hope you got a smile out of this. Sorry that it's a bit long. I tend to ramble because I care for them so much. No, I loved reading all this. Thank you. And don't worry, I am a rambler myself. You may have noticed from my videos, 10 out of 10 rambler right here it's one of my top 10 talents uh, but thank you so much just a random bookworm I really appreciate you sharing these photos and your story and if you're looking to get a new member of your family I definitely recommend to adopt not shop check out your local shelters your local humane society donate if you can volunteer if you can foster if you can and don't forget to spay new to your pets and if you want to see a photo of your pets here then go ahead and send it to my email which is in my channel description and you will see your pets here eventually all right, Foxtrotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave it down below as well. I love to hear what you have to say, and I love interacting with you all. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and become a Foxtrotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I sincerely hope you all are doing well. I hope you guys are all finding new hobbies or uh, old hobbies, <laughs> but you're starting them up again. You know, like me, I picked up some hobbies that I used to be into that I kind of forgot I was into and now I'm into them again you know and I hope you guys are finding healthy coping mechanisms and I hope you're genuinely taking time to take care of yourself because you guys are awesome and we're going to get through this my dudes we're going to get through this okay and just like I mentioned in my comment and my community post earlier today I will be doing a deep dive and I don't know if you guys could tell already by the tone of the video but I'm going to be doing my deep dive on promifera or promifera or however it's pronounced because it's just very interesting a brand new MLM with direct ties to lime life and unique like I'm sold all right folks as always until the next video take care